Here we are lads, back on the job. Sun's out, gun's out. Sean's been hard at mahi yesterday, putting up all these purlins, strapped in a gird on this side, and uh, he put in the strapping on the top there. Goes up there, crosses over through the centre. And this morning we've just been starting on the netting, putting up this netting above us. It's quite hard to see the netting, but it's there. Got a join through the middle there. Oh, so straight. Oh, oh, not that side. Oh, I'll turn around. I'll turn around. Ah, oh. oh, that side. There we go, boys. Nice and straight. As far as I know, it doesn't do anything structurally, does it, Sean? Or no, no. It adds to the integrity of the building, or just makes you feel good. Uh, yeah. I think it just makes you feel good, eh? Yeah, mate. It's just like a beer. Just like a beer. <laughs> Here we are, guys. Back on the job. So, in this episode. We are doing a bit of framing. So we put the carport up in the back there, started as a carport, and the job's grown into a garage, and then now the owner wants to actually live in it until we build uh, her house. So we're kidding it out. There's gonna be a bathroom, a few doors, windows to go in. Stay with us and you'll see what goes on, boys. And what are you up to, brother? Oh, just trying to figure out the letterbox challenge. Look down there, team. That's my big job today. And again, Pythagoras says, A plus B does not equal D. <laughs> hey, we do what the clients want. Hey, they deserve better. <laughs> that's it. So that's Sean's big mission for the day, set up the letterbox. And I've got a little task over here to put in a door. So yesterday, we actually had to cut out this section of girts. They run right the way through that opening that was there. And yesterday I fitted in these two king studs on either side. And we have a couple more windows to go in a few of these other open gaps over here. So I've just made up a header. At the top of the door. There it is, we've got some six by two. There's a better view of it sideways. So yeah, that's where the top of the door frame will lock into. We've actually got this big opening here, which was going to be the main entrance, obviously, for the sectional door. But um, now the owner's decided to live in here, so we're actually just going to be covering that whole wall off for now with some plywood. And the whole inside will be lined with ply and uh, there's gonna be a bathroom area at this end of the building. Got a toilet and a shower going in here. So we're gonna put in a few extra partitions, a few walls to go up. So yeah, it's all go. The concrete has become builders, that's us. Well, here we are guys, more changes to Lego City. So we no longer have a wall there anymore. And we're extending the building out to the white pegs here. Extra two meters. And moving the whole bathroom out this way. That wall's gotta be finished, framed out. Got the new new accessory to the team. Oh, I love the dog. <laughs> Voila. Concrete has become builders. So there it is. Piece of kit, AEG, actually works really well. So we've been studding out the last of this wall, putting in our jack studs up the top, 600 centers, and Sean's been uh, framing out this wall down the back. That was meant to be the uh, garage door. You can see the uh, uh, header up the top there. So now it's been framed out, filled in, and there's gonna be a window in this section here, big long window, I think two meters by 600 mil wide and the same here, I've cut this one out. King start up to the top, down to the plate. Yeah, and it continues. Anything to add, brother? Well, all I can say is, 
Yeah, get a plan before you start, eh? That <laughs> really helps. <laughs> and you like playing with Lego? Oh, uh, I was not good at it as a kid, eh? I still ain't. Yeah. So, now what? It is what it is, boys. We'll get there by yeah, the we'll end, show eh, bro? You the end product. Thank God the door's still staying. Just put all my heart and sweat into that one. Fits in beautifully. Oh, to be to continue. Here we are, back on the job, doing it all again. Another day, another dollar. Another dollar. That is us. So the bros have just uh, had a big job this morning. Been on the shovel here. I'll spin around and give you a look, eh? Oh no, not again. Oh, yeah. So we got about five square meters there. Just had to dig this one out by hand. Um, yeah, so that's it. Give you a bit of a update on the next step. I'm about to bring in some stone. Uh, I'll compact it first actually. I might just put the compact over it a little bit loose and tighten it all up and then put some crusher dust on it and then seal it off again with the compactor. Might be hand mixing this one. See how we go. There it is team, all boxed up, nice and level, uh, haven't compacted it yet because uh, we have the uh, plumber coming, plumber's got to dig in his drain somewhere in this corner, the shower's going in this corner here, and also I've got to dig a hole in this corner, and a hole in that corner for two posts to go up for our roof, but that's it. Getting there, lunch time. Lunch time. It's been working on our windows. Windows are getting pretty much ready to go. Just gonna need to put our lintels in. And that's us. A few cripples. All good. Nice deadly header up the top there. Following the rake of the uh, roof. Give it a whirl, bro. What do you call that, brother? The Muzz Cut. Check it out, Muzz Dog. <laughs> what are you it's done here, solid. mate? I'm just calculating, um, I don't know what right now. No, it's close to the end of the barge flashing off there, buddy. Very nice. Yep. And that one will come over, so there's no way water will get in there. That's the theory. It's phase one. Yep. But a glue will fix it, eh? Oh, glue will fix it, you're mate. So that flashing's going on the roof. Cover the wall and the roof. Seal any water getting in the cavity. Here's our progress. So we got the building all wrapped off uh, yesterday and started putting on some more of our iron on this wall here. We've got the back all done. Put in some clear light, even though it's not clear, it's tinted, tinted uh, clear light there. I don't know if you can even see it or not, but it's there. You can see the uh, silver screw heads. So just temporary until our windows show up. Here we are team. So this has been the mission this morning. Setting up this extension, the roof. So I've checked out our poles up the top. Put in our purlins in between, rafters on the outside. Here you go, give you a look at the checkout. Nice tidy checkout, so there'll be uh, 
two bolts through that, one through each piece, and the same on the other side. Few more bugs there, fellas. <laughs> Stop it. Two bugs there, fellas. Well, fucking nearly. <laughs> oh, and don't forget the ice chili can. Oh, full of the goods. <laughs> 